You know what being really wild truly means? Be who you are. Some people say I'm wild. Right. She's wild. She's crazy. No, I'm just in my natural element. Oh, she's wild. No, I'm just me. And so, so many people aren't used to being who they are. They're being just like everybody else, doing what everybody else does. So if you got somebody that just skirt, skirt, goes to the side, oh, she wild. No, she's just who she is. So when they're telling you, go wild, run wild, they're saying, how about you be exactly who God called you to be? Why don't you be exactly the person that God made you out to be? I'm a little funny, and I'm a little serious, and I can switch them on you fast. Not me, just serious. We'll be laughing, and I'll be like, let me tell you what God is saying. That's who I am. I am doing exactly the thing that God has for me to do. I'm preaching, I'm teaching God's children. So I'm wild. I'm in my natural habitat. And I'm doing what I do. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm free. And some of us, we want to be like, anybody got friends? Like in school, you got like a group of friends? Hands down. Let, let's see if we can be real honest. I don't know how honest y'all are, if some of y'all are too cool, but let's see how honest we can be. How many of you have ever tried to act like someone else in your school? Couple hands, couple hands. You ever try to be like somebody else? I love the honesty of the of the female. Oh, she's really okay. Yeah. Hands down, hands down, hands down. How many of you started doing your hair like someone else because? Um, I, I, oh, let's do it like this. How many of you can say honestly? Okay, and if you're too like embarrassed, or whatever, you don't have to lift your hands. Okay, I'm not. It's not a big deal. But how many of you can say you're okay with saying it? That you change like your hairstyle maybe because somebody made fun of your hair. Maybe you can say that maybe you changed your style, like you stopped wearing those jeans or that shirt or those kind of shoes because somebody made fun of you. somebody made fun of you. Right? And isn't that what happens to us? We see Olivia and we see people say, "Oh, Olivia, I like your hat. You look so cute." And so Olivia's like, "Oh, you like my? You like?" And then I say, "Oh, well, um, I want to be like Olivia." So I'm gonna put a hat on. And what we do is, how many of y'all have Instagram? I do. We get on Instagram, and maybe we see somebody famous, right? And everybody likes their pictures. And they put on a lot of lipstick, and they walk around like this. <laughs> they take pictures like this. So then you try to do it, you're like this. <laughs> right? You get on there, and you get boys. Y'all get on there, y'all see somebody there, a famous rapper or whatever, and they're in front of their car like this, chains swinging all over here off their neck, swinging all over there. They trying to catch them, trying to catch. They got their car doors open, LED lights, smoke machine in the car, blowing all the smoke out there in front of the car like this for an Instagram video. So you pull your bike up, right? You're like, here, Kenny, hold, my, hold the camera, film me. <laughs> you go to the dollar store, buy you a big old chain. <laughs> you know them dollar sign ones they have at the dollar store? You get fake money and stick it in your pocket. Right? You take off your tank top, you, you flex it when you know you ain't got no muscles. <laughs> you start flexing. And you like, turn the, turn the song on, Kenny, turn the song. And a boom. And there you are doing all this, looking like this, <laughs> trying to get some Instagram likes. Why? Because somebody else did that. That's what they do. And that's what they do. And that's what she does. 
And especially, I'm going to talk to my young ladies for just a second. Is that okay? You ladies are beautiful. Period. Hold on, I'm going to talk to y'all in a minute, okay? <laughs> There's boys. I forget y'all's age. They got their fingers in there they're like, yeah. So, listen. And I don't mean because you've got more beautiful eyes than someone else. You know how we define in our culture, listen up, how we often define our beauty as if we're more beautiful than someone else. And that's not what makes you beautiful. What makes you beautiful is there's not a single person like you. Don't try to be like me. Really don't. So sometimes I have people message me and they're like, oh my God, I don't want to be just like you. No, how about you be just like you? With the Holy Spirit. Because if you try to be just like me, we lose you. And there's only one you. That's like if the chocolate chip cookies started trying to be Oreos. Then all we got is Oreos. Y'all know good and well that ain't good for the world. Being wild doesn't mean, remember, we're not driving the uh, lawnmower through the window. I know. I hate to let you down, okay? Being wild doesn't mean you're just screaming and, you know, running down the halls and everything. Being wild is like how God created the animals and he put them in their natural place. And he said, they, these are my wild animals. They're, they're in the element I put them in. They're in their natural place. So the first thing for you to be able to be wild for God is for you to know who you are. All of you guys are sons of God. Everyone in this room are children of God, but you all are daughters of God. And you all are the sons of God. You are sons of the living God.